Uh, I'm going to have to do it. Well, let me get You're passing out. <laughs> Trail Seeker Adventures checks out Black Waterfalls. There's so much to do. You can hike, camp, canoe, kayak, fish, check out the waterfalls, and so much more. But today, we check out the mountain biking. We head to Harold S. Walter Nature Center, and our goal is to make it to Pace Point. Pace Point is one of the more challenging overlooks to get to, but Blackwater Falls is full of overlooks. One of them happens to be Lindsay Point Trail, which we have a video on. But just remember, Pace Point Overlook does not have any handrails, so just be careful when you're taking those selfies. Heidi and I have checked this trail out several years ago, and we enjoyed it. We're going to try to find our way back to Pace Point. It's been very wet here lately. We usually go out into the valley and do some mountain biking. But today we thought, let's go hit a drier trail. This is where you actually jump onto the trail from the parking lot. People have been enjoying the Blackwater area since the 1800s. But the land actually became under the protection of the state park system in the 1930s. And the park became state established right. in 1937. And around 1955, the state began to add cabins and lodging for all the park goers to enjoy. And just remember, at the lodge, there's dining and several other places to eat around the Davis Thomas area. I'm not sure if you notice it, but this area also has frisbee golf. You can also rent canoes, fishing poles, there's also basketball, tennis, and volleyball courts. And a lot of opportunities for some selfies. You can find out more information about Blackwater Falls at the Nature Center or go to wvstateparks.com. And now it's time to hit the trail. Here? But just remember, I'm not sure what I'll can you put in this video, but if you see me pushing my bike a tad bit more than usual, one, it was the trail for some reason got skinnier and on the left side is a really steep downhill that I didn't want to go over. And there was a lot of huge roots that I don't remember was there before. I mean, not that that's an excuse because we are mountain biking, I know, but anyways, I thought I'd explain myself. Look to the right, that's where we will be coming out later today. Since Heidi is already making excuses, I also want to say sorry for the camera being a little glare. The last time I raced and used this camera, it was very muddy. I wiped my lens many times and obviously scratched it. Double house something trail. I was trying to read that sign, but I only seen double house. I didn't see what the, the other part of it said. You'll definitely want to stay till the end of the video where we kind of not sure if we're ever going to make it home again. <laughs> Tight. Look at you. <laughs> I don't remember it being this. We yeah, I'm sure we are. I remember these bridges. I don't remember. It must have washed out or something. Got these little paths going off to the side must walk down to the water or something as i was saying heidi and i checked this out many years ago we're trying to find the overlook just by memory but they do have maps available looks like it'd be quite the walk though <laughs> Thank you. Is it electric? Yeah. <coughs> this trail was full of rocks and roots. Some of the roots are actually 
pretty big and kind of going all over the place. Whenever we did it, of course, it was still wet, so it made some of the rocks pretty slippery. I would probably rate wet. this trail as moderate to Thank some you. places difficult. I don't remember all this water. I was on call for work. Heidi and I decided to go hit a trail. We wanted to hit something that was a little dry and not too long. I also needed signal. I thought this would be a good choice. But as you're about to Definitely find not out, hot. it's not quite as dry as we, we remember it being. Actually, it got really juicy. The camera is not doing this chill justice. There are multiple roots and rocks. If you are deciding to hike it, I would recommend wearing some kind of hiking boots uh, because the mud in some areas were, it was pretty deep. So I had to get off a couple times and push over some of the things just because I didn't feel like falling. <laughs> but unfortunately, I ended up falling okay, anyways. Wow. And yep, Kenny got me on camera. I don't think there's going to be much more of this. I don't think. You slipped? Oh, uh, you don't have your cleats on, do you? <laughs> you see some of the water. If you're hiking, you for sure will want a waterproof boot. There is several steep up and down parts of this trail. <laughs> yeah, we definitely remember this bridge, but it's so crazy how much it seems different. Oh, it's definitely washed out. And it's so muddy and wet. Because up here it doesn't go to my heels. And then, it's looking at like, point it opens up wide to pine trees. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, once we get past the overlook. Oh, I think we, uh, once we get to the overlook and then it opens up. You may want to get around that turn first. I think we'll be doing some pushing up that hill. No use even trying. <laughs> There's a cliff there. <laughs> See what this says. So we made it to the intersection right. of Pace so Point and Dobbin House. To... I think we can keep going around. Once we get down, I think we go past the overlook and then it stays, then it starts going right away from this side of the mountain here. I think that's what I remember correctly. I remember it happened to come back up this way. You hear me saying, I think quite a bit on this ride. I would recommend you get a map we're going off memory, and my memory obviously is not too good. I think one time, I know for sure we brought the bikes one time, and I think the other time when we met them, I think we were walking. Keep your right pedal up so you don't hit a root. Three. 
on this trail, we had actually encountered about four down trees that we had to take the bikes up over. The last two trees were pretty tall. And stay tuned because we show you a pretty good technique on how to get the bikes up over a tree. Well, we'll just call it the Heidi and Kenny technique. Another log. A little stream. If this is the first Trail Seeker Adventure video that you have watched, make sure you like and subscribe. And also go and check out other videos of other trails. We do a lot of racing, but we also do mountain biking, hiking. Just go to Trail Seeker Adventures on YouTube and go to the category of hiking and mountain biking. And check out trails that we have also visited. We try to get the information so you can see whether that's a trail for you. Point. Now we made it to Pace Point Trail. It's a short little drop down to the overlook. These maps were scattered throughout the trail. I really couldn't see it very well because I didn't have my glasses. A lot of the times I'll take a picture of it. It's a good idea so once you get down the trail, you'll have a copy of it. And also when you're blind like myself, you can zoom in and check the trail to see where you're at. Not good. Uh, I don't know, it was pretty rough. <laughs> That's a view. Huh? Yeah. Right, right, On the other right, side. Right. I would say. Well, we made it to the overlook. Unfortunately, somewhere I got a bigger glare on my camera and didn't realize it, unfortunately. But hopefully, you still get something out of the video. After you leave Pace Point and go to the left, the trail definitely gets more difficult. I truly thought this was going to be a quick little trail. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know that we're going to have enough time or get enough seat time today on this trail. Ah, she's looking better. It was at this point I started getting nervous. I realized I didn't have service on my phone and being on call for work, I needed service. So not only was I not 100% confident that we was on the trail that we rode, I don't know, six, seven years ago. 
but I also was concerned about not getting a phone call from work. Oh, look at you. Spotting out to go around. All right. Did you say all right? I did say all right. I mean, keep going. We'll go a little further. Oh, I got, I just got a ding. Or you, you did or I did. Let me make sure it's not my work phone, like a voicemail or something. She's down there talking to herself, so it must not be good. Ugh. Well, I took a picture of that map. You won't stop looking at it, but I ain't got my glasses on, but... Zoom in on it. Do you remember that? Well, I can't. I mean, I remember when it. Are you sure we didn't go to that overlook and take a right? No, and go back I'm pretty sure we came down. And what I remember is coming out into a field. And we was like. I, I remember the pine trees. There was a lot of pine trees. Well, maybe we just gotta go up. We just gotta, we just gotta hope for the best. <laughs> And this map ain't help Blackwater Falls. I mean, we're exploring, sweetie. I think we're just a few turns where we'll be able to get away from this stuff. So I'll go ahead of Heidi to see if we should turn around or not. This is absolutely beautiful. Totally don't remember it. But, uh, there's these red markers. I think this is where we start up. Although it doesn't look fun. Hopefully it's not a big push up the mountain. But it is a sign of life. She's not going to like this. You want to hold it? Or? We ended up at this really pretty creek with these little waterfalls. This is a great place to stop and take some pictures. And also, if you back, backpack or bike in some food, a nice, great, awesome place to take a picture. All right, we got to get moving. <laughs> oh. I'll get the bikes out. Right, we have to hold the door. Well, I remember coming out into a field and was confused. Very pretty. Just ah! follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? Oh my gosh. Like I'm good. I'm not going down that way. No, you're going up that way. Oh. Oh lordy, lordy to be. Whose dumb idea was this? I mean, it's awesome. If it wasn't for on call, I'd be loving life right now, but. Or if we were hiking, <laughs> it'd be a long hike. Up over the roots. I can't put that up here. Babe, Babe. can't never done nothing. I can't. I can't. I can't. I really, really, really can't. <laughs> well, we gotta do something. Well, oh, I'm going to have to do it. Well, let me get, you're passing out. <laughs> well, we're in trouble. I don't know, babe. I don't remember. This was yours. Remember, I said. Remember, I said, what trail you want to go? You said, oh, the trail we met so-and-so. Well, we didn't come down this far that time. Oh, it's looking better. Are you not even trying? I got bad knees. Suck it up. Suck it up. Suck it up. 
Because their batteries and motors and big tires and heavy frames. <laughs> this one is lighter than mine, I think. Hard to try, baby. Oh, that wasn't good. You got it. What gear you got that baby in? You do, because you're coming down the hill. Make sure you shift as soon as you get going. She didn't shift. Well, you can't shift on the hill. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a few minutes to break down what just happened. First of all, whenever you see those little red triangle things, and that's the path, this camera does not do this thing justice. It was straight up with roots. And Kitty failed to tell me that on an electric bike on the, the left handle, there's a little teeny button that We're actually saved. helps the bike pull up a hill. He didn't tell me that until we get to the top of the hill where he's at oh, right now. Was and he it. mentions the little nice little button. So, Maybe. and I wasn't going to pass out. Obviously, I was uh. exaggerating just a little tad. We got knew all along that we wasn't going to die. I did. Oh, there's a road up here. Hopefully that's the worst of it. At least not that rock. Ooh, I'm wrecking. Uh, uh, we're able to pedal again. I knew it was going to be totally worth it, sweetie. Did you have any doubts? Well, it must have got worse. Hello, hello. Is that direction better than this direction? Oh, okay. Nothing but grass. Oh, I'm sure he's done it. There's the grass. This is the field I remember. Told you, it's totally worth it. <laughs> We'll be in the woods back hopefully soon. Check yourself for ticks. It's good to see the sun of the day. I can't believe you had doubt in me. Oh, I think you did. I mean, you had to because I did. <laughs> Ooh. The beautiful pine tree section. It's what we've all been waiting for. Oh, this would be a good picture. I'll get a picture of you. You get a picture of me taking a picture of you. When we came in. It comes out and we, we go out the same way we came in. Yeah, I can't remember either. I think it's the second one where we where we had to uh, push up from the bridge, push up the hill out of that bridge. I think it comes out at the top of that. Hopefully it don't split off out here though because I don't remember making any turns. If nothing else, we're just going to stay right, I think. I don't know. Let's see if it says where we are. Oh man, why did I not wear my glasses? I should have learned this the last time. And it does not say, oh, right here. No, that's a screw. Maybe that is it. Uh, yeah, this is it. To where we started, I think. <laughs> Let me take a picture so I can zoom it in. It looks like it all comes back, but we just don't want to. 
Yeah, it's scenery. Scenery. <laughs> Might as well actually get the ride a little bit. <laughs> So we need to uh, stay left from now on. Left. Yeah. Because if. Ooh. Oh crap. Because if we stay left, it should bring us right back out to the parking lot. The other trail, if we would have went straight, we would have had the uh, paths go straight. There's a right, but we don't want to do that. I definitely don't remember. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good ride there. Unless you're snowshoe. Yeah, I would, even with a good knee, I would not do this. <laughs> with a, I don't know, that over there is not too bad. Bad thing is that you get going too fast, you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so oh, I say you have to hold this. Hop, lift it up over to me. You want me to do it? Oh, I thought you, I thought this was a video of you doing it. No, <laughs> this is more video of me doing it. <laughs> it's, it's called teamwork. All right, so here's what we do. We, you hit the back brake, you pull it backwards, get it in a wheelie, bring it over to your wife that takes the easy side of the tree, and then left it oh, up. Oh, what are you supposed to do? What are you doing over there? That's ridiculous. You're not doing nothing. Well, yeah, if you throw a brake out. I, mean, I thought you had a hold of it. Oh, this is going so well. <laughs> All right, that was practice. I didn't hold the brake. Pull it backwards. Hope, hope your wife actually does something. I think I should have got you that part. All right. Now here we go again. See if she actually. No, oh, she didn't. Well, what, do you, what was I supposed to do right here? I don't know. It, we survived. Okay. Stuck. This bike is so heavy. I know that bike's heavy. Hey, can you hurry up? <laughs> My knee! <laughs> Alright, I see you, you pedal up through there. I, I can't get, how am I going to get started? Easy. Alright, you go first because I need this piece. I need, to, I need to back it up in there. Oh, you pushed your seat down. You can't. My bike's heavy, you called it heavy. They don't like being called heavy. Well, just as you can see, we did not hey, die Kenny. in the woods. We did make it back to the lake. Just want to tell you about how you can get to the parking lot. You go into Blackwater Falls. You can turn right at the campground right before you get to the falls. Or you can go past the falls. It's just a big loop. If you go past the falls, the Nature Reserve Center is on your left. If you go past the campground, it's obviously going to be on the right. But if you go past the campground, you go past the wildlife center, and then the next parking lot is this parking lot. There is a overlook just right over here, not too far from the parking lot. If you are handicapped or you have somebody that's handicapped, this is a perfect place to come park and come over here and look at the West Virginia Blackwater Canyon. We come over, we did get to check it out. After checking the canyon out, we did go to town, ate at Hellbenders, and then we take you to Blackwater Falls.
We made it through another adventure. Hopefully you'll watch this video and get some helpful information and Black Waterfalls will be a place that you will like to visit in the future. <sighs> Can you believe we didn't die? After filling our belly at Hellbenders, I highly recommend that restaurant if you like burritos. We get the Lost Hiker with Hellbender sauce. It's a little spicy, but we absolutely love it. So then we came and checked out the falls. We almost can't come through the area without checking the Blackwater Falls. We've been down here many times, but it's just something to check out while we're here. But also, make sure you check out the rest of our videos Go to Trail Seeker Adventures. Make sure you like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching Heidi and I's adventure. Until next time, catch you later.